We just finished the GA, the General Assembly of the Jewish Federations of North America, which brought together uh, 3,000 participants, uh, about half uh, from the Jewish leadership in North America and about half from Israel, for an intensive three days of deliberations and, uh, and celebrations. And if you follow the uh, news coverage, JTA, Jewish Week, Forward, you'll realize that this time, unlike any other GA that I'm aware of, the conclusion of those who covered the GA was it was characterized by a push for and a discussion of and an interest in issues of pluralism challenging the age-old control of orthodoxy over Jewish life in Israel, which doesn't only impact adversely on the life of Israelis, but spills over and challenges Jewish unity and challenges uh, Jews' sensitivity to and commitment for uh, inclusiveness, diversity, and pluralism. So we at Chidush uh, were privileged to play an active role in the GA. Uh, both I, uh, my participation in a well-attended, very successful panel on the right to marry, moderated by Susie Gelman, the co-chair of, uh, of the GA, and with the participation of a modern Orthodox law professor, Professor Ruth Halpin Kadari of bar -Ilan University, Aaron uh, Coppola and, uh, and Ariel Biri, a couple who made Aliyah, wonderful, remarkable young couple, who weren't able to marry in Israel and to go back to Chicago because Aaron's mother is a conservative convert and neither would their daughter be able to marry and neither would their grandchildren be able to marry until we bring an end to the orthodox control over all matters of marriage and divorce of all Jews in Israel. And uh, similarly, um, um, MK and Nitzan Horowitz, one of the most outspoken uh, Israeli MKs on issues of religious freedom. Chief Rabbi of Dimona, who defended the state, the current state of affairs, of affairs, the status quo, explained that democracy is not perfect, life has its flaws, and that's what the Torah requires, and if we give up on the Torah, we give up on the right to Israel altogether. Uh, I don't think that too many in the audience uh, were uh, willing to buy uh, the approach uh, that he attempted to sell. Uh, so, Chidush uh, had a booth which enjoyed tremendous interest among the people who passed by uh, on the way to programs, on the way back from programs, and we have lots of people who signed up uh, to get our newsletters and, uh, and uh, to uh, support, like our Facebook page and get our tweets. And I urge you to take advantage of the ability to get updates from Chidush as to the progression of the battle for religious freedom and equality and do indeed go on to our website Sana and sign on to get our newsletter and like our Facebook page and, and our tweet uh, uh, broadcasts. Clearly this was an important GA because it, was, it came at a very important junction in the uh, history of Israel's public and political life which clearly demonstrates that many in diaspora, many among the leadership of the American Jewish, North American Jewish community are willing to extend their hands and share in partnership in advancing Israel to the hope for desirable vision of a country which celebrates diversity rather than shunning it, which is truly both Jewish and democratic.